get access to SuperVibe by clicking the link in the description below. We will use these terms to compare skills to SuperVibe. Movement, Camera, Keybinds, Macro, PvP, Combat, and Ability Tracking. Apex Legends is a great game for working on battle royale mechanics like rotations, endgames, and third parties. There's also a lot of similarities in the combat, the way that you put down cover fire while your teammates are healing, or popping a shield, or reviving. And with yesterday's patch, there's also an emphasis on mid-game objectives, with a new mythic box and I believe more care packages and some other changes. Supervive and League share a similar appearance, but they're played very differently. ARAMs are a good tool to practice teamfights and ability tracking, while Summoner's Rift can offer some macro experience. Eternal Return is a battle royale that has a day and night cycle with objectives, a fast time to kill, and snowballing capabilities similar to Supervive. It's a good choice for people lacking mobile experience and looking to improve at macro simultaneously. The game has a small learning curve with its crafting system and unique red zone timer for being outside of the safe zone, but Eternal Return struggles to make competitive matches in rank because of its small player base. Overwatch lets you focus on movement and positioning in relation to your teammates, as well as a great starting point for tracking opponents dashes and ultimates for your target selection and working on in-game voice comms to communicate that information. If you have access and the playtest is available, Marvel Rivals is basically a newer version of Overwatch that offers the same skills with more character complexity and is a lot of fun to play. Bap Bap is very similar to Supervive except it has a faster time to kill, no mana, and three man squads. Bap Bap is still in development and has limited playtest times just like Supervive, but you can sign up on Steam to hopefully get access for the next playtest. Battle Ray allows you to get muscle memory on your keybinds and cursor aim, but offers little replayability because of its lacking player base. Overall, I think Arena is better, but Battle Royale lets you test relevant keybinds and ability usage in a non-energy gated way. Both of these games are infested with bots, so it's best to play bot matches to skip the queue, or to look for a Battle Royale community to join. Alternatively, V Rising is also made by the Battle Royale developers. It offers the same thing as Battle Royale, allowing you to get muscle memory on your keybinds in an open world role playing game. I haven't tried the player versus player, so I don't have an opinion, but the time to kill and combat plays out much slower than Supervive, and it has a completely different camera system compared to Battle Royale and Supervive. Enter the Gungeon is an amazing game for improving at Supervive. It will help you learn the most important technique for combat, which is keeping your feet moving and keeping your cursor on the target at the same time. Once you get really good at this technique, you can incorporate flicking between targets and dodge rules. This game can also teach you how to control your emotions to beat a full health boss while you only have one health remaining. All of these games are available on Steam, except for League, which is downloaded through the Riot client. Let me know what games you've been playing between the Supervive playtest in the comments, and I'll check them out.